This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See so what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. Like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. Man, it gives a false narrative. The markets make bad trading decisions. Somebody said that I've gotten slower. Are they trying to say I'm getting older? I don't know. But anyway, listen. The AMC shorters. Okay, why do people short stocks? Let's look at the reason why they short. They short because they think they can make money. They can buy. No, not buy. Excuse me, not buy. They can borrow the share when it's selling at $72, lend it, sell it into the open market, rather, and then they call all their buddies in mainstream media. They call all their shills to push the price down of the company to spread fake news in order to push the price of the company back down. And then when the price hits a real low, then these guys, they rebuy the shares and then they keep the profit. I mean, what a great deal for them that they can borrow a stock at $72 and then bash the stock whenever they want with no consequences because they will never get charged with market manipulation because all their buddies work at the SEC, all their buddies work at the DOJ, all their buddies work at the FBI, so they will never be charged with market manipulation. So any company that they choose, they can borrow the stock, utilize FUD and illegal tactics to push the price down, and then... Buy them back, give them back, and make profits from the difference. So why haven't the AMC shorters gotten out of the play? I mean, they're down. Well, not they're down. AMC is down 98%. Because from $72 high, Selling at eleven dollars is like what's that one point seven percent? So they're actually up ninety eight point three percent on that investment. Why would they stay in the play if they're up ninety eight point three percent and the max they can get more is another one point seven percent? You know why? Because they created billions, maybe trillions of counterfeit AMC shares and kept selling them into the market. And even with that 90% haircut that Adam Ab Adam gave them for free, where 90% of their shares were just eliminated for free, they still can't close those AMC shorts, even though technically they should be up 98.3% on the play, but they're not. They can't walk away because they created billions or trends of counterfeit AMC shares, and they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. So the fact that they didn't close their positions when they should be up 98.3% tells me there are still billions of counterfeit AMC shares floating around in FTDs, spreading Cayman Islands in Europe, in Puerto Rico, all over the world, that they don't plan on ever closing. Until they go bankrupt. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Why do you think the AMC shorters should be up 98.3% but still haven't closed out their AMC shorts? Is it because they created billions of counterfeit AMC shares? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.